section we will see how to create a Aurora PostgreSQL DB cluster and how to connect it remotely. It's a very straightforward demo and uh, all the steps, high level steps are mentioned. We are going to create an Aurora PostgreSQL DB cluster. Please remember that the resources which you are going to uh, uh, select for this demo, that should be minimum to ease the charge on your pocket. And the second thing which we are going to do is, we have an EC2 instance running where Postgre 13 is running. We will try to connect uh, uh, Aurora Postgre cluster from EC2 instance, which is having the uh, Postgre running over there. The command remains same. Uh, psql hyphen hyphen host this will be the host name of the aurora db cluster uh, the port the username password it will prompt and the database name so let's get started with the first uh, so i'll open two let me go and find rds that's the first thing which we are going to do we are in the rds console not yet I should have logged in and I'll open another console for EC2 as well, just to save some time. Okay, so I have already an Aurora uh, Postgre cluster running. I'm not going to take care of that. We are going to do it from the beginning. So this is my RDS console. It is looking like this, the default page. What you need to do is you need to go scroll down and you will see something like create database. So you will see create database icon over there and it will take you over here. Uh, sometimes the loading is very slow. All right, there are two things. One is the standard create, another is easy create, wherein you don't have to feed most of the thing, but we will go with the standard create, wherein we are going to uh, mention most of the items manually. So I'll go with the Amazon Aurora, and we are going to launch Amazon Aurora for PostgreSQL compatible edition. That means it is, it is a kind of engineered system, and it is having both the things, MySQL and PostgreSQL. Whatever you want to choose, so you can go with that. For our case, it is Postgre PostgreSQL, so we are going with that. We are going with the provisioned one. We are not going with the serverless. Uh, and here uh, in the version, you have the control. You can uh, uh, take the uh, version, whatever you uh, it fits for uh, your case. For us, uh, we are going to go with the latest one, which is Postgre 13.6. And we'll just select it. We are not going to do it for the production environment since this is a demo, so we will take the lightest machine, so we'll go with dev and test. The settings here, the DB identifier, this should be unique across your uh, uh, account. So I have database hyphen one DB cluster already running, so it will not allow me. By default, it is going to take database hyphen one. Database hyphen two, it has taken. The master username over here, uh, it is Postgre. So uh, you can change it, uh, the admin or whatever you want it to do. I'll say generate, auto generate uh, a password. And uh, it will take, uh, let's say this previous version uh, generation classes we are going to take. It is just two virtual uh, CPUs, four GB of RAM. And we are not going to create an Aurora replica that we will see later like what it is. From the connectivity point of view, we will go with the public access. We have uh, from the, if you are inside the VPC, let's make it no, so that you can't connect it from outside, which is safer, suggested, and as per recommendation. But for our demo, we wanted to take the access from the outside or from the public network. So we have selected yes. And VPC security group, we are going to uh, consider the default one. In the additional settings, you will be able to see the port number we will go with the default one in case you wanted to go with the uh, non-default you can choose that 
Bevel fish setting in case you wanted to bring the data from uh, MS SQL in that case you need to turn this on so that if I just turn it on uh, it is it is going to uh, make sure that your uh, migration and other parts would be incorporated into this password authentic uh, database authentication is password based that means user ID and password I have to mention in the additional configuration we are not going to do anything and just say create database now the next part is I have to access this particular um, Aurora cluster from uh, from EC2 instance so what I need to do is I need to go inside the uh, database 2 hyphen instance 1 while it is getting created it is creating so let's see if we have something uh, we'll go with view credential details so if you lose the password for the one time you need to reset it so I'll just say copy the username is mass uh, postgre uh, the password it is available over here so uh, this is my password and username is postgre and now uh, back to here Uh, once it is it is created you will see uh, this is the endpoint of the regional cluster and this is read only so let's select this one VPC setting this is okay. it is still getting created it may take some time monitoring logs and events configuration so let it create first so just to save some time what i'm going to do is in the security group i'm going to feed in the uh, ip address okay it is still getting created connectivity and security we'll go with the default security group which is assigned and this is the important part over here since I'm using the default one wherein I have uh, added my uh, local IP address already so it should all already be available over there So I'll just say edit uh, inbound rules and what you need to do over here is you need to add two IP address uh, one IP address you will be selecting uh, we are just going to access everything on 5432 so what you will do is uh, you just have to select your IP address and the uh, the EC2 instance uh, through which you are going to access this so I'll just select the EC2 instance this is my private IP I'll select this one and I will add it over here so I think I already have added it over there 172 that's this 172.31.42.128 this already exists so I need I don't need to do anything which is going to be the most important part so everything looks fine so far let's go back to the RDS RDS console and we'll see what is the status of the instance uh, of the Postgre um, Aurora cluster which is getting created sometimes when you click these icons it takes its own time uh, you see this sign that means it's it's getting processed
all right so it is available this is getting created so let's do some preparation now while it is getting created the first thing is we are going to connect with pg admin from the local system or any host where pg admin is running you need to make sure that incoming should be allowed from the the aurora cluster which you are uh, trying to access so still the uh, endpoint is not created creating This should be available at any time now. Once you see the status available, then only try to access it. Endpoint is available now. So what I will do is just I'll copy this and I'll go to the PG admin. I'll go to the servers, create server, enter the name in the connection string, mention the endpoint. Postgre is the uh, maintenance database. Username is also Postgre and the password you copy the password which you had taken up and you just enter it over here try to see if if uh, the instance is created no it is still configuring enhanced monitoring Go to databases part and see the status. No, still it is not available. You can see the error once you do it over here. Wow, we are able to connect now because the endpoint was available and we are able to connect to the uh, Aurora PostgreSQL cluster. So you can see the way your vanilla Postgre looks, it is slightly dif uh, different. Uh, the RDS admin, which is the uh, admin database offered by AWS, uh, where it is going to store most of the information. It is available and not uh, accessible to, to the end user like uh, us. Now the next thing which we wanted to do is uh, we will go to the EC2 instance and from here we will connect so I need to take out this information I'll put it on a notepad I need to replace the host name which I'll pick it up from here take the endpoint make the replacement over here this is the the uh, endpoint for the previous one which I created and from the EC2 instance where I have uh, Postgre available I'll copy this and I'll paste this password If I say slash L plus, I'm able to see this. You can see I have the Postgre RDS admin template one, template zero. We are connected with the uh, database. So everything remains same. The only thing is uh, we need to properly uh, maintain the security group and from where we are trying to connect. Rest, the way you connect to any managed instance, it works the the same way you can see we are connected so there's nothing uh, uh, 
very difficult in this all very straightforward and in the next session we will see the next step related to the cluster i hope this is going to help and thank you